A kid at the junior high cafeteria wants to propel an empty milk carton along a lunch table by hitting it with a 3 gram spitball. If he wants the speed of the 20 gram carton just after the spitball hits it to be 0.3 meters per second, at what speed should his spitball hit the carton? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a picture. Let's see, let's do green. Okay, so we have a table here, and then we have our milk carton. And the kid, he shoots a three gram spitball at Oh wait, uh, 0 0.3 grams, and we don't know what the speed is. Then we want to know um, if he wants the speed afterwards to be 0 0.3 meters per second, how fast does this speed have to be over here? So let's go ahead and make a list of what we know. So let's say the milk carton is number one. So we'll have big M for the milk carton. It's 20 grams, which is 0 0.02 kilograms. And the initial speed of the milk carton is 0 meters per second. And we'll say the spitball is number 2. So the mass of the spitball is 0. What am I doing? Why do I do 0? Okay, get rid of that guy too. All right, so it is three grams, and three grams is 0 0.003 kilograms, and that initial speed of the spitball is what we're looking for. All right, so then after the spitball hits it, they stick together. So we're going to have a mass of the milk carton plus the spitball. So that is going to be 23 grams, which is 0 0.023 kilograms. And then the kid, he wants the speed of that to equal 0 0.3 meters per second. Okay, let me slide up and give us a little more room. So this is going to be an example of M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M3V3. And in this case, we're looking for V2. So let's go ahead and isolate that. So we'll subtract over M1V1. And then we'll divide by m Two. So V2 is going to equal M3V3 minus M1V1 all over M2. So let's go ahead and plug some stuff in. So V2 is going to equal M3, which we said is 0 0.023 kilograms times its speed of 0 0.3 meters per second. And then we're going to minus that with M1, which is, let's see, M1 is going to times by 0 meters per second, so this is also going to go to 0. So we can get rid of that guy. So now we have the top, which will be divided by M2, which in this case is 0 0.003 kilograms. And when we do that, we get 2.3 meters per second. So if the kid wants it to go 0 0.3 meters per second with his 3 gram spitball, he has to um, Hit, shoot the spitball at 2.3 meters per second.